Area of a circle. So what is the formula for finding area of a circle? Well, there's a little rhyme to help you remember the formula. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Area of a circle is pi r squared. So if we look at the formula, and we're going to be using three, we're going to substitute 3.14 for pi. Remember, we start with the formula, we substitute in, we solve, and then we'll have our solution. So our formula is pi r squared. We're going to be using 3.14 for pi. So we'll substitute that in for pi. The radius of the circle is 4 centimeters, so we'll substitute that in. Now remember, we need to do order of operations. We need to do the exponent before we multiply. So 4 squared is 16, and then we simply multiply that by 3.14. So the area of this circle would be 50.24 square centimeters. So let's take a little bit closer look at this formula. Let's pull it apart a little bit. So let's look at radius squared. So here's our radius. If you square the radius, you end up with a square. And pi is approximately 3, so we would have 3 squares. Well, if you take all the excess, all the excess here outside of the circle, and we put it here, it would fill in the remaining quarter of that circle. So that's kind of why this formula works for finding area of a circle. So let's try a few of these. So let's start with our formula. Area equals pi r squared. And we're going to be using 3.14 for pi. The radius of the circle is 5. And we're going to square that. So we're going to do 3.14. Remember, we need to square this first. So that's 25. And let's see, 3.14 times 25, let me just do that quickly, would be 78.5 square centimeters. Let's try another one. So let's start with our formula. Area equals pi r squared. Let's substitute in 3.14 for pi. Now the radius, it's not 12, that's our diameter. The radius would be half of 12 so it would be 6 centimeters. So we're going to square that. So we're going to do our exponent first. So 3.14 times 36. And that would be 113.04 square centimeters. Now your teacher might ask you to find the area of the circle in terms of pi. Well, what does that mean, to solve in terms of pi? Actually, this is a lot easier. When you solve in terms of pi, you don't substitute for pi. You just leave it be. So we would start with our formula. We would substitute in. Now, we don't substitute anything for pi. We just leave it. Our radius is 4. So we'd substitute that, substitute that in. Our final answer, then, the area of the circle would be 16 pi centimeters squared. So here we have area of a circle in terms of pi. This is where we, we didn't substitute for pi. This is our area in terms of pi. In, over here, we did substitute for pi. We used 3.14. Which of these answers, 50.24 centimeters squared or 16 pi centimeters squared, which one do you think is more precise? Which one do you think is a more accurate reflection of the area of this circle? Well, the answer is in terms of pi. It's because over here, we rounded pi to 3.14. So the, the answer that's more precise or more accurate is actually 16 pi centimeters squared. All right, let's just do a couple quick examples. We'll find area in terms of pi. So we're going to start with our formula. We're going to substitute in. Remember, when you're solving in terms of pi, you don't substitute for pi. Our radius is 9. We're going to square our radius. So it would be pi times 81. So the area of this circle in terms of pi would be 81 pi 
centimeters squared. All right, let's do one more. Start with our formula, pi r squared. We're not going to substitute for pi. We're just going to leave it. Now, the radius here is not 24. Again, that's our diameter. So the radius is half of 24. It'd be 12 centimeters. And we don't touch the pi. 12 squared is 144. So the area of this circle in terms of pi would be 144 pi centimeters squared. So that's how you find the area of a circle using pi r squared and in terms of pi.